السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue our tutorials about, about uh, HVAC system uh, The previous videos, hopefully uh, we have finished uh, the, uh, the duct uh, drawing and sizing for our uh, building uh, here in uh, Revit uh, by the manual uh, tools and the automatic uh, tools I think that we uh, did uh, something that uh, may help you as a beginner in Revit. Here is the uh, duct uh, system uh, for uh, the ceilings. Ceiling uh, one and ceiling uh, two and ceiling uh, three and we talked about the visibility ranges and the view range and the visibility graphics and uh, many things and uh, we covered the air energy unit selection well something there uh, there is uh, the last thing that uh, i want to talk about for the ducts so uh, please open a new mechanical template to finalize uh, this part uh, the ducts uh, justification suppose that you have a duct 50 12k and then 40 there is a reduction okay Notice here that uh, the, last, the previous tutorials we did not do this. The justification uh, for the ducts uh, were, uh, were carried out for both uh, sides. Okay, so what's going on? Let's make a duct, make it 50 here. And before continuing, continuing, uh, look here, justification, make it from middle, center. Middle, okay. 30. Okay, so here is our duct and the 3D. Okay, I know. Uh, so let's make Control Z and here. Just about the justification, make it justify. Sorry, cancel. Let's draw the duct again. Justification. Make this top. And here is 30. Okay, here is the our regular duct that we uh, used uh, in the previous tutorials, the all previous tutorials. Uh, so it is just uh, a matter of justification. Uh, what is the reduction? Okay, how to make the reduction uh, from here or here or here. Uh, also, you can click on ceiling one, select this, select this justify so we have here notice that is from here choose it from here you'll find it 
like this and you'll get an error mess message due to the uh, connection but I think this is no problem you can avoid it uh, from the beginning not that this is the uh, reduction okay You click here, you can also change the width, make it 40, and without any problem. So, click here, click here, justify, okay, cancel. Justify. Yes, here is from the middle, we make it from the left, okay, so we'll find it like this, and so on, and there is a reduction in the, uh, in the height, you make it 30, then the height is uh, 5, suppose it's 5, Okay, where is the 3D? How does that is look? Looks like sort of the reduction occurred like this. Okay. Let's select them again and justify. Notice that uh, did from here and okay. So you can change uh, the reduction and the justification of the ducts as you want, and you can avoid all these problems from the beginning. So. Like I said, you can uh, draw the duct, 30, click, cut, use the justification, right, okay, and here is 20, so we'll find, okay, control Z, Z, Let's do it again. Before the duct. Okay. So this duct, make it okay. Make it right. And here is the wing. Okay, without any problem, you did it like uh, what we talked about in AutoCAD. Okay, click here, justification, lift. Okay, it's going to be a problem, so you have to do it again, please. Duct, justification, lift, okay. Notice that the cursor uh, changes uh, its location. Make it 10. And here we go. The same thing uh, for the uh, height duct justification from the top or the bottom center and then the height is gonna be 10 15 
Ok. Me estoy quedando con el 3D. We did the reduction from the bottom for this. Okay, so we can see here the shape of this duct it will be like this. Okay. So from uh, the bottom and then the height increased like this. Okay, uh, for better uh, understanding this, you can take a look on uh, SketchUp. And just draw rectangle, rectangle and extrude it then make a, a reduction and then please click control and click on this to make another uh, duct okay uh, after this, you can uh, scale this, please rotate, just you can uh, click on camera and orbit. Offset, uh, sorry, scale, and we want to make a reduction like this. Oops, I'm not very uh, camera orbit. So, this is the reduction. Also, cancel, cancel. Maybe I like this or like this. Okay, so this is what we are talking about. Rivet. And this is Mr. Engineer. Uh, in the site. <laughs> or you can make the justification like this. Okay, so this is the justification for the uh, height, like what we said, or like what we showed in Revit. Uh, here, you can make it like this. Okay, so uh, Revit asks you uh, about the point. Notice here that if we choose a justification, justify, so one, two, three, and here are nine points. Those are the nine points one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, uh, nine. Uh, here is the camera. Just orbit and they are here uh, are the nine one two three four five six seven eight nine okay uh, this uh, determines uh, the uh, position or the justification process okay so just to uh, see how we can uh, 
make a justification for this uh, docs in Revit like AutoCAD map or AutoCAD 2D. Okay, thank you. Uh, now uh, we're gonna start our uh, important uh, tutorial or well, the main tutorial. Uh, we're gonna uh, talk about piping system and the design, uh, how to design the HVAC uh, piping system and how to select the uh, the chillers for uh, our cooling goods. So uh, before uh, we start uh, we have to uh, open uh, manage and uh, project units they are, are common we set the HVAC uh, and now we have to set the piping the, here are the, uh, is the density uh, the flow uh, it has to be in GPM and fraction in foot uh, per hundred foot okay you can uh, change uh, anything here uh, pressure maybe in PSI or in uh, bars uh, select what you want at temperature uh, in f uh, Fahrenheit or in Celsius and the velocity foot per second or uh, meters per second okay FPS and uh, the dynamic viscosity uh, centipoise or a scale second so you have to uh, select uh, the best for you and here the pipe size uh, please make it uh, in uh, inches and the roughness and the volume in gallons US gallons okay and the insulation and the pipe dimensions the mass and the mass per unit length so click OK OK uh, then we have to go to uh, systems and mechanical settings In mechanical settings we talked about the hidden line uh, for the duct and the pipe uh, please check out uh, the illustration in the uh, tutorial that we covered this uh, part and here are the duct settings we covered all the duct settings the angles conversion rectangular oval uh, round and the calculation okay now the pipe settings uh, we talked about uh, it's like the uh, here duct settings it's like uh, the uh, ducts and here the pipe uh, size suffix you can make it here inch and the pipe size prefix and the connector spreader and pipe connector tolerance and something like this uh, okay connector spreader and the duct spreader and suffix and you can check it out okay so I think this is not uh, a problem and this and here a pipe rise and drop annotation size 3.2 two millimeters as uh, according to your office or the standard okay for the angles uh, actually this is the uh, important uh, an important uh, choice uh, here for the angles uh, of the duct uh, we use the any angle because we uh, the ducts uh, it's according to the cooling loads and to, according to the designer and uh, our DNS program uh, calculations you can use any angle uh, if you want uh, but it doesn't matter uh, if you use uh, specific angles or uh, manual uh, angles okay so it's according to the, uh, the layout and the problems we face uh, while we draw the duct but for the pipes actually uh, fitting angle are standard okay so uh, 
there's no recommend to use any angle because you're gonna uh, select the pipes or gonna uh, use the pipes from the standards and the standards have uh, its uh, or their own uh, angles so we're gonna use specific angles the most important angles are 90 45 and 22.5 okay So now uh, go to uh, plumping floor one. We're gonna uh, uh, talk about uh, these things and here visibility graphics, please. I don't want to see uh, where we imported categories. Seven one, okay. I want to see this. What is this? Okay, it uh, doesn't matter now. Here's suppose that we are gonna uh, draw a pipe, just the pipe. And the same thing, diameter 6 inch, and please see the offset. Go here, level 1, and here the offset. Okay. We will not see the pipe. Okay. Cancel. Where is the view range? We do the view range here is explicit level. So now uh, let's uh, choose the pipe. Well, here chilled water or standard. Make it uh, chilled water. I'm gonna uh, six diameter, and here is the offset. Okay. And here is our pipe, a random pipe. Then notice that we are gonna make it 54 as an angle. Okay, so I wanna know uh, the angle now, just here. Okay, here, click here, you will find it 60. And here we can considering uh, the angles. Okay, we checked all this. Uncheck 60, 30, and this just to keep those. And roll your pipe again. This and here make it 38. And let's see. Okay, <laughs> it is just 45. And if you want to change this pipe, 26, we'll find it 22.5. So this is the beauty of uh, selecting or the uh, angles you specify uh, the used angles and please do not use any angle because we are gonna use the standards okay so okay okay now uh, for the mechanical settings okay save the project please use the uh, time remainder And for the conversion here, the system classification, hydronic uh, supply. What is the hydronic supply? Hydronics. Hydronics is the use of a liquid uh, heat transfer 
medium in heating and cooling systems, the working fluid is typically water, glycol, or mineral, uh, co uh, mineral oil. Some of the oldest and most common examples are steam and hot water radiators. Historically, in large-scale commercial buildings such as high-rise and campus facilities, a hydronic system uh, may include both a chilled and a heated water loop to provide for both heating and air conditioning. Chillers are cool and cooling towers are used either separately uh, or together as means to provide water cooling, while boilers heat water. Uh, a recent innovation is the chiller boiler system, which provides an efficient form of HVAC for homes and smaller commercial spaces. Also, uh, here's the hydronic supply or return, you have to specify, and the sanitary, uh, the sanitary, sorry, sanitary, sanitary uh, piping uh, system here, uh, this is the, uh, a picture for this small scale system, and you can see here uh, a presentation, just click uh, on the picture and uh, click here it's gonna uh, this presentation uh, will be uploaded for you and you're the number of views okay first you can take a look on uh, leaves of uh, house drainage and here is sanitary sanitary system okay also uh, vent uh, also for the uh, drain waste vent system you can mount plumping a drain waste vent DWV uh, is a part of system of a system that removes sewage and gray water from building and regulates uh, air pressure in the waste system uh, pipes to aid free flow Waste is produced at fixtures such as toilets, sinks, and showers, and exits that uh, the fixtures through a trap, a deep section of pipe uh, that always contains water, and so on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there are many systems. You can see exactly what are what is the vent, the sanitary and the hydronic return. For the domestic hot water. It's, uh, it's very simple to know uh, the domestic cold water and domestic cold water or other and here are the fire protection you know that there are two uh, fire protection systems uh, here uh, wet system dry system and also pre-action and fire protection other after choosing this uh, here so we're gonna use a hydronic supply for chillers uh, like what we did in the ducts, you have to choose uh, the pipe uh, that you want to uh, use and the offsets, all those are the defaults. And here the branch, shield or standard, and I think that you can uh, upload or uh, from here, uh, from the families, okay, I'm gonna cover this later. And now for mechanical equipment and segments and sizes. Okay, segments and sizes here uh, for Revit, you can see that uh, the standards or the materials that you can use uh, copper, KLM, uh, ductile iron, uh, 22, 30, and many things, uh, and uh, stainless steel and uh, polyvinyl uh, chloride okay so you can use these things or you also you can delete any one of them and create new pipe segment if you do not see uh, the required uh, standard or material notice that here are the roughness for every se uh, segment and here are the nominal size and the I the the internal uh, diameter and the outer diameter. Okay, notice that here is quarter uh, inch. This is quarter inch. Okay, or we can make it or manage the units piping.
in the mirrors and go elements well here is in millimeters okay here in millimeters the id uh, od and the nominal for the cover k not cover l not cover m the nominal is it change it and the id is change it there are many of them for the nominal cover m tactile notice that the nominal increases still steel notice and used in size lists used in sizing okay if you uncheck this you will not find uh, uh, this value when you use uh, drawing a pie we will not find this by default but you can type it okay just to uh, like we like what we did in the ducts okay make it again uh units piping and baptize to the feet Sorry, sorry. Oh, inches. Meters. Inches. So here, if you want to uh, add a new standard or a new material uh, with a uh, new uh, nominal or new uh, uh, data, for this, you uh, don't want to uh, use uh, the Revit uh, defaults, okay? So just create new pipe segment. Here for the new segment requires a new material, a new schedule type or both. So here is the material, just click on the material and uh, use uh, what you want to use just for uh, the appearance of the color, okay, graphics, identity, uh, Appearance physical thermal. Uh, some engineers are very interested in these things. Okay, and here is schedule type. You have to choose uh, KRM or the class. And duplicate size catalog form. You have to duplicate, please. You have to duplicate from the available. And if you schedule type, okay, you can uh, write. Uh, here, schedule type and also the duplicate size from and select material and schedule type. Here are the material and the schedule type. Okay, so here are the material. Just here. Okay. Name is already used, okay, close. So, please, we have to change this. Uh, just to make it anything. Okay, default to floor. And click OK. And here is the default to floor. And so we added this default floor. And now you can uh, change uh, anything. Uh, you can make new size and here are the nominal diameter you have to enter the nominal diameter that is available in your new standard okay because you uh, think that you cannot do this uh, with the uh, default uh, standards uh, available from Revit that's why we do uh, new uh, segments you have to change everything here uh, if you want, uh, if you uh, deal with a company that has the new standards or uh, new cert or new material uh, priorities uh, or pipe size that you uh, cannot uh, see here, you have to edit and click OK. OK. Just you can change anything uh, that you want and add anything and you also can delete size for your default floor key and that's it and your new size 
the number of diameter, you have to get it from the catalogs and the inside diameter and the outside diameter. Uh, also, you can use it in sizing or uh, used in size lists, uncheck, uncheck, or you can check both. Okay. So now if you uh, get to uh, draw a pipe, we'll find here the uh, sizes. I think that we have to uh, do um, further action to tell Revit that we're gonna use uh, our new lists uh, or uh, according to the mechanical settings. So we're gonna cover this later. Okay. Now, uh, settings for the flavids very important to know uh, here uh, all the flavids that are available uh, water and uh, propylene, propylene uh, glycol uh, ethyl, uh, ethylene glycol and also can add uh, flavid based on and then you can change the properties and also you can delete fluid uh, here for water you can uh, see the temperature in Celsius and here the uh, dynamic viscosity and the density and also you can add new temperature and viscosity and density notice okay And then for the slopes, uh, you must uh, make the slopes here, please, uh, because you will, uh, you are not allowed to select the slopes uh, while you draw, and uh, you also can delete slopes, new slopes. This is the new the slopes for the pipes, okay? Uh, new slope, maybe point five percent. It's gonna be like this, okay? So uh, this is the slope 0.5%, another slope 2%, okay? Uh, another slope 1, 2, 2. Is the slope is already exists, so 1 to uh, 200 is equal to 0.5%. That's why uh, you find it like this. Okay, so 1 uh, to uh, 200 is please divide 15 uh, by 256. It is gonna be 0 0.058. Okay, divided by 12 is gonna be 4.88 multiplied by the 10 to the power negative 3 so this is uh, the slope value so uh, 1 by 8 12 is gonna be 1 to 96 so if we do this you'll find the slope values already exist so please you have to know uh, have to read this is 1 divided by 8 inches divided by 12. Get the number and you will find it 1 to 96. So this is the slope of the pipe. Just close it. So if you add any slope value, it's going to be translated uh, according to Revit or the standards that Revit use, uses. Okay. Okay, uh, the last thing uh, here, the calculation, like we, what we did uh, for the ducts. Calculation and method, uh, pipe street segment, pressure drop calculation, simplified uh, cool broke equation for turbulent flow and for laminar flow and uh, so on. And if you want another method, this is the simplified and is a cold broke uh, equation. And this is not the simplified equation. And Holland equation. 
it's another method okay for the flow uh, here the pressure drop and here the flow convert fixture units to flow for plumping uh, fixtures which is uh, applicable to domestic water system flow calculation so plumbing fixture flow this method converts from a uh, using values found in the 2012 International uh, Plumbing Code IPC table. Uh, the flow conversion method is specified uh, in the piping systems type properties for a domestic code called water system classifications. So, resulting flow is used for pipe uh, sizing. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is my tutorial about. Uh, the duct classifications and uh, introduction for uh, the piping system. Uh, the next tutorial we're gonna uh, talk about the details of how to draw the pipes for the HVAC uh, system. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.